I'm Katrina Charles. I'm at the University of Oxford in the UK. Okay. And what is your role at the university? I'm a professor of environmental health risks, so I'm an academic. So I had a reasonably traditional journey that I did an undergraduate in engineering, uh, a PhD in engineering, uh, and then moved in Australia, moved to the UK and did a postdoc and then lectureship and then moved through up the chain to professor. But I am now a professor in geography, mm -hmm. um, having been through environmental health and several other departments on my journey. Okay. So I think I have two tips. One is to take all the advice you get with a grain of salt because things are changing really quickly. I think there's a lot of advice you get on careers which uh, comes from people who are my age and older and the sector has changed and I think you know, the two big areas I see for that are around impact mm -hmm. that I think there's a lot more opportunities to do impact work now rather than to specialize first and then look at impact mm -hmm. and the second is on interdisciplinarity that we now recognize we need to work in a more interdisciplinary way and work with other people and that's changed careers and that's changing how, um, how how we think of um, what is good in academia mm -hmm. um, and so I think those things really change how we see career mm -hmm. pathways now and the other point would be around resilience mm -hmm. I think you're gonna find yourself particularly for for women for people who are in a minority you know you're gonna find there are challenges mm -hmm. in the workplace you're gonna find that you have to work in difficult situations and equally in your work if you're trying to have impact in the world you're mm -hmm. gonna find there's there's resistance to that mm -hmm. you need to think about your resilience and really find a place where you can look after yourself and to build that resilience to work with difficult situations so you can really help to, to challenge things and to make change. Yeah. Can I dig a little bit deeper there? Yeah. Can you please give me some examples of how you build this resilience? Um, I think there's the personal care side of taking care of yourself. I think there's working in communities where you have support. So looking at, you know, for example, a community of women in water. Finding communities like that where you have people you can share your challenges with and mm -hmm. you feel safer to express yourself. Mm -hmm. um, and I think looking for support options like that. It can also be, I mean, you may find that working proactively on addressing some of these issues. So I work in um, the equality, diversity and inclusivity work mm -hmm. in my university very actively mm -hmm. to help make change and to understand the issues and support others. Mm -hmm. And so that then also helps me to feel that there is change happening. Um, and so there's different ways you can, you can build your own resilience. Yes. Any final notes for our young professionals and women? I think there's so many opportunities in the sector. Mm -hmm. um, and generally, though, there's lots of people who are open, who are willing to support and want to mentor. They don't always have a lot of time, but mm -hmm. generally they are there. So do reach out. Do, don't, don't assume that you know everything or, or that you know what they're going to say. Ask someone that question and mm -hmm. see, see what they say, even if it's just to build that relationship with mm -hmm. them. Because mm -hmm. those connections in the, in the sector are so important to supporting your work, supporting your development and supporting your, your impact.